below them artifacts of Mars. And this one's right up my alley. Apollo 10, when it went, orbited the moon, the astronauts on board heard bizarre howling, uh, they call it music, whatever you call it, uh, coming through their headsets. The problem is they were on the side of the moon opposite from the Earth, so they were out of communications range. In other words, if you were sitting on the far side of the moon, you couldn't hear anything. Not from the Earth, at least. While orbiting the moon in 1969, the Apollo 10 team heard weird music there on the far side of the moon, so it couldn't have come from Earth. The team debated whether to tell NASA to command back home. Recordings of the event were declassified in 2008 and will be played on Science Channel's NASA's Unexplained Files this month. The song began once the capsule was on an hour-long trip around the far side of the moon out of range for Earth, any Earth broadcast. At one point, the baffled astronauts can be heard discussing whether they should tell NASA command or not. I wonder what other things they heard. What do you think? Or in the scene, of course. Hear that? That whistling sound? Woo! One of them says. Another astronaut says, sounds like, you know, outer space type music. Well, that sure is weird music, his companion agrees. And it's not Pink Floyd. As like I said, uh, they couldn't hear it. The Earth from that, they're out of communications range. So, I have this little picture here, mysterious, typical explanations for such sounds, including internet interference caused by magnetic fields or atmospheres, do not apply to the moon, leaving their origin a mystery. In other words, they don't know. <coughs> this is a true unknown. They don't know what could have caused this. How do you like that? The Peloton was very used to the kind of noise they should be hearing. Logic tells me that if there's nothing recorded on there, then there was something there. If there was something recorded on there, there was something there. The show discusses some of the possible solutions, which include a magnetic field, Atmosphere enters, interfering with the radio. But according to the experts on the show, the moon has no magnetic field and not enough atmosphere to cause such issues. Which is true, it doesn't. So, essentially, their headsets picked up radio waves and no one knows where they came from. This wasn't the usual static that you hear. If you're on the AM radio and you're between stations, you hear that static. A lot of that comes from Earth, and a lot of that comes from space. So, uh, yeah, I think there's more than a few secrets. Uh, are going to come out in the years ahead. The NASA classified it for which somebody ought to be in an orange jumpsuit as far as I'm concerned. A lot of people wouldn't agree with me, but if it's up to me, they will be. They don't have any right to classify this type of thing. I don't know. This is another piece of the puzzle. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.